Hello, God bless you. Welcome to today's daily devotion. My name is Stephen. I'm the pastor of Graffiti Fellowship in Brooklyn, New York. Uh, this is where we read a chapter from the Bible each day. Uh, we post these videos five days a week, and then they are available for you at any time that you want to include a little God's Word in your day. We're reading through the Gospel of Luke currently. And today we're reading Luke chapter 5. Uh, chapter 5 is 39 verses. We're going to see Jesus uh, begin to call his disciples. Really, these disciples are those who will become apostles because Jesus had many more disciples than just the 12 at the time. But when we say the disciples, we're referring to those 12 very often. We're going to see Jesus heal uh, a couple of people, one with leprosy. We don't really see leprosy in the Western world today, uh, but it's a very serious uh, degenerative skin condition. I think it actually affects uh, deeper than just the skin, but it's certainly obvious uh, that it affected the skin. A paralyzed man, we're going to see the calling of Matthew. And then Jesus is going to teach on fasting. Let's read Luke chapter 5. One day as Jesus was preaching on the shore of the Sea of Galilee, great crowds pressed in on him to listen to the word of God. He noticed two empty boats at the water's edge, for the fishermen had left them and were washing their nets. Stepping into one of the boats, Jesus asked Simon, its owner, to push out into the water. So he sat in the boat and he taught the crowds from there. When he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Now go out where it's deeper and let down your nets to catch some fish. Master Simon replied, We worked hard all last night and didn't catch a thing. But if you say so, I'll let the nets down again. This time their nets were so full of fish they began to tear. A shout for help brought their partners in the other boat. And soon both boats were, both boats were filled with fish and on the verge of sinking. When Simon Peter realized what had happened, he fell, to his, he fell to his knees before Jesus and said, Oh Lord, please forgive me. I'm too much of a sinner to be around you. He was awestruck by the number of fish they had caught, as were the others with him. His partners, James and John, the sons of Zebedee, were also amazed. Jesus replied to Simon, Don't be afraid. From now on, you'll be fishing for people. And as soon as they landed, they left everything and followed Jesus. In one of the villages, Jesus met a man with an advanced case of leprosy. And when the man saw Jesus, he bowed with his face to the ground, begging to be healed. Lord, he said, if you are willing, you can heal me and make me clean. Jesus reached out and touched him. I am willing, he said, be healed. And instantly the leprosy disappeared. Then Jesus instructed him to not tell anyone what had happened. He said, go to the priest and let him examine you and take along the offering required of the law of Moses for those who have been healed of leprosy. This will be a public testimony that you've been cleansed. But despite Jesus' instructions, the report of his power spread even faster and vast crowds came to hear him preach and be healed of their diseases. But often Jesus withdrew to the wilderness for prayer. One day, while Jesus was teaching, some Pharisees and teachers of religious law were sitting nearby, and it seemed that these men showed up everywhere he went. In every village, from Galilee, Judea, as well as from Jerusalem, the Lord's healing power was strongly with Jesus. Now, some men carrying a paralyzed man on a sleeping mat arrived, and they tried to take him inside to Jesus, but they couldn't reach him because of the crowd. So they went up to the roof and took off some tiles. Then they lowered the sick man on his mat down into the crowd right in front of Jesus. Seeing their faith, Jesus said to the man, Young man, your sins are forgiven. But the Pharisees and teachers of religious law said to themselves, Who does he think he is? This is blasphemy. Only God can forgive sins. Jesus knew what they were thinking, so he asked them, Why do you question this in your hearts? Is it easier to say your sins are forgiven? Or stand up and walk. So I'll prove to you that the Son of Man has the authority on earth to forgive sins. Then Jesus turned to the paralyzed man and said, Stand up, pick up your mat, and go home. 
Immediately, as everyone watched, the man jumped up, picked up his mat, and went home praising God. Everyone was gripped with great wonder and awe, and they praised God, exclaiming, We have seen amazing things today. Later, as Jesus left the town, he saw a tax collector named Levi sitting at his tax collector's booth. Follow me and be my disciple, Jesus said to him. So Levi got up, he left everything, and followed him. Later, Levi held a banquet in his home with Jesus as the guest of honor. Many of Levi's fellow tax tax collectors and other guests also ate with him, but the Pharisees and their teachers of religious law complained bitterly to Jesus' disciples. Why do you eat and drink with such scum? Jesus answered them, healthy people don't need a doctor. Sick people do. I have come to call not those who think they are righteous, but those who know they are sinners and need to repent. One day, some people said to Jesus, John the Baptist's disciples fast and pray regularly, and so did the disciples of the Pharisees. Why are your disciples always eating and drinking? Jesus responded, Do wedding guests fast while celebrating with the groom? Of course not. But someday the groom will be taken away from them, and then they will fast. Then Jesus gave them this illustration. No one tears a piece of cloth from a new garment and uses it to patch an old garment. For then the new garment will be ruined and the patch wouldn't even match the old garment. No one puts new wine into old wineskins. For the new wine would burst the wineskins, spilling the wine and ruining the skins. New wine must be stored in new wineskins. But no one who drinks the old wine seems to want the new wine. The old is just fine, they say. That concludes Luke chapter 5. So glad that you participated uh, in this video. Um, Reading the Gospels is is, is just so important. Um, Reading all of Scripture is, is equally important. But uh, when we read the Gospels, we we just we see directly the life and ministry of Jesus. We see how he interacted with people. We see his heart and his compassion for people. We see his relationship with the Father. We see his relationship uh, with those that uh, were a part of his his church family, if you like. Uh, and we've got a lot to learn. Hope you join us again next time as we read Luke chapter 6. God bless you.